It's always very difficult knowing how to explain what I do when people ask me. So I try and be a little bit creative. So I sat next to this lady on an aeroplane at Heathrow Airport. And I said, hello. And she said, oh, hello. Then she said, what do you do? And I said, well, <laughs> I work for a global enterprise. <laughs> she said, do you? I said, yes, I do. I said, we've got outlets in nearly every country of the world. We've got hospitals, hospices, homeless shelters, we do justice work, reconciliation work, we've got orphanages, we do marriage guidance counselling. I said basically we look after people from birth to death and we deal in the area of behavioural alteration. <laughs> she said wow. She says what's it called? I said it's called the church. There was a minister with his family in the garden one hot sunny Saturday afternoon and they were playing with their little kitten. And the kitten went up a tree and it got stuck between two branches and couldn't get its head out. They tried to get the little kitten down but they couldn't get to it because of all the branches and the tree. But the father, being a pastor, always came up with great ideas. He said, don't worry, daddy to the rescue. I'm going to get a rope, I'm going to get my car. I'm going to tie the rope round the tree, I'm going to tie it onto the car. I'll get in the car, I'll drive a bit, that'll bring the tree down and we'll be able to manoeuvre and get the little pussycat down. Everyone said, daddy to the rescue. Daddy got his car, he got the rope, he tied the rope round the tree, he tied it onto the car. He began to drive slowly, slowly. The trees bending, bending. The car's moving, the trees bending, and then the rope snapped. <laughs> One of my sons came back from uh, school, Michael, and uh, I said to him, Michael, how did it go today? He says, well, usual, Dad. I said, oh, OK. I said, did you do anything interesting? He said, no. I said, oh, all right. He said, no, we did actually, Dad. We had to do a project on heroes. I said, did you? He said, yeah, we did. Dad, I chose you as my hero. I know, I felt the same. <laughs> I was like, overwhelmed that my son chose me, but there was a lot of curiosity. <laughs> I said, Michael, why did you choose me? He said, because I couldn't spell Arnold Schwarzenegger. Jesus Christ chose to come into all this world to deal with all the bad stuff, with all the pollution, with all that's in our lives. Why? Because we're valuable. He loves us. He wanted to ransom us. He wanted to restore us. He wanted to clean us, forgive us, heal us, and save us. That is why Jesus Christ came into the world, but it cost him his life. He died on the cross, that's, that's how much it cost. It was paid on the nail. He buys his donuts, he buys his coffee, he's looking for somewhere to sit, all the tables are taken. There's one table where there's one man sitting, so he thinks, I'll just go and sit opposite him. He goes to the table, he puts his coffee down, he puts his bags down, he takes his coat off, puts it round the chair, sits in the chair, <sighs> opens his coffee, has a sip, picks up the bag of donuts, opens it, takes out a donut, starts eating it, puts the bag down. The man opposite stretches over, picks up the bag of donuts, opens it, takes out a donut, starts eating it, smiles, puts the bag down. <laughs> the other man cannot believe what has just happened. He has just stolen one of my donuts. 
I mean, what is the world coming to? The man gets up to leave, so the other man thinks, it's about time you left, you donut thief. <laughs> he put his coat on, he then picked up the bag of donuts. There's one donut left. He takes it out, breaks it in half, puts half in his mouth, half in the bag, moves it, smiles, waves, off he goes. Looks at his watch. Oh, it's time for me to go. He gets up, he puts his coat on, he bends down to pick up his bag, and sitting on top of his bag is his bag of donuts. <laughs> He's complaining that the other man was stealing his donuts, but the truth was the other man was sharing his donuts. Listen, God owns all the donuts. <laughs> He's the way so that traffic wardens can understand. He's the truth so that politicians can understand. He's the resurrection so that funeral directors can understand. He's the good shepherd so that farmers can understand. He's the door so that architects can understand. He's the alpha and the omega so that scientists can understand. He's the living water so that plumbers can understand. He's the word so that the actors can understand. Jesus is the one. Jesus is the one.